Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how to create custom shape nav modifiers to use for area classes. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we want to create a custom nav modifier around this object. So the first thing we need to do is create a custom brush. So we're going to go to select brush editing. We'll choose the pen tool and for the extrude depth, that's how tall the brush will be. I'll just put mine to 100 for this video. And then we need to be in an orthographic view, so we'll choose the top down. And then we'll just start plotting the points around our object with our space bar. And when we get to the last point that we want to place, we'll just hit enter and it'll automatically complete our brush. And then we can hit optimize and it'll try to reduce the number of faces. Then we can put the pen tool away by going back to the select mode and we can leave the orthographic view and we can go back to our regular perspective view. And now with our new brush selected, let's come down to the details panel and we'll search for convert actor and we'll select the nav modifier volume and then we'll bring it up into view real quick. And let's go ahead and turn on the nav mesh so we can see what's happening and we can see that the default area class is nav area null that's where it's carving out the nav mesh under the volume you can also select from any of the other area classes or you can create your own custom ones and the one thing that we want to take a look at is that here in unreal 5 the custom nav area modifier volume is now fully implemented so it's a step up from unreal 4 where if you tried to create them there, they didn't handle the concave angles very well and they would just kind of shoot across and you would get a bunch of empty space that you didn't want. So let's hop into Unreal 4 real quick and we'll see how you work around that and then we'll come on back here. And this time when we redraw it, we're going to pay attention to wherever we see a concave angle, we're going to turn it into a convex angle so that's going to look something like this. Okay, and here at my first concave angle, I'm going to cut across and turn it into a convex angle. Okay, so that's my first brush. Now I'm going to repeat that process everywhere I see a concave angle. Okay, so now that I have my four brushes, we're going to go ahead and convert them into nav modifier volumes. Okay, so these are them down here, and I'm just going to rename them so I can find them easier. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our nav mesh back on, and we'll grab our four new volumes, and we'll lower them into position. And we can see that they are snapping to our points along our brushes a lot better. So we'll turn them into obstacles. And now we can kind of compare it to the original one we had. So we'll bring that one back into view. And like I said earlier, it's calculating from this outer point to that outer point, And it's giving us all this space in between. But if we get that one out of the way and we look at the four new ones we have, it's calculating from this point to that point and it's giving us that nice line and then from this point to that point and so it's giving us a much better handling on this angle in here okay that was just a quick and easy way to create custom shape nav mods for both unreal 4 and 5 i hope this video helped please like and subscribe and i'll see you in another video